This island of ours has never been governed by its people. It has always been governed on our behalf. Whether it was imposed on us or whether we voted for it, the outcome was the same. There is no accountability, no political will to resolve anything properly. This is why we're asking all of our fellow countrymen and women to participate in something we've never done before in our history as a nation. And that is to become proactively involved in how our country is being governed on an ongoing basis into the future. Because we know if we fail to do this, it is going to be business as usual. And this is just not acceptable anymore. So to facilitate this endeavor, what we have here today is the Citizens' Amendment Petition. It is the mother of all petitions, because it seeks to reinstate the legal provision to recognize all other Irish petitions that reach the required signature quota of 50,000 registered voters, as would be required under the repealed Article 48, which would otherwise be ignored, and unfortunately all of those petitions would simply end up in the bin. It is also about reclaiming ownership of our natural resources and the rights to have a greater say in our country's future direction, by form of national referendum, if necessary. As fellow campaigners and fellow citizens, we have no political affiliation or association of any kind. And this is because, for us personally, it is solutions to our many problems that is relevant, not political ideologies jostling one another for control while real life goes on all around us. And we personally do not care where those solutions come from, whether it's from the right or left, from the very rich or the very poor, as long as those solutions are in the best interest of our country and all of our fellow citizens. We want that right to be able to initiate those solutions. So this petition is not about replacing our political system and its institutions. It is about holding them to account. It is about establishing a citizens-owned and controlled republic, as opposed to a state-owned and controlled republic, where citizens, if necessary, with professional guidance, can initiate policies that benefit the entire country and all of our fellow citizens. So it is in this regard that we're asking all of the Irish people to take a few minutes out of your day to become a part of the solution and sign the Citizens' Amendment Petition. Now you can sign this petition also online, which can be located on the home page of the Unite Citizens website. That's www.unitecitizens.com. Now, if you are going to sign the online petition, please be aware that when you have completed it, it will automatically send you an email to clarify that you've just signed the petition. So it's very important that you sign, that you do this correctly. So it's very important that you do this correctly, otherwise your name and your vote will not be registered. If you have done this correctly, you will see that your name has been added to the list of names who have previously signed the petition. Or alternatively, and this would be our preferred option, you can download the paper version of the petition, which we have here today, have it completed with your signature and full address and return it to Citizens' Amendment, 64 Oak Downs, Green Park, Clondalkin, Dublin 22. If every household on the island of Ireland was to download just one petition, have your family and friends complete it and return it to us, then we will have our mandate to demand a referendum, to have these articles reinstated into our constitution and to have the ownership of Ireland and its natural resources and the right to direct democracy be returned to you, the people of Ireland. So in conclusion, I would like to just finish by thanking you all for taking the time to listen to what we had to say. We do hope you all get involved, because as Irish citizens we believe we have a sovereign responsibility to the welfare of our state and to one another. And it is time for us now as a mature sovereign nation to honour that obligation and to stand up and be counted and stop being afraid. Long live the Citizens Republic.